I'm Tanya from Lippert. Today, we're going to take you step-by-step step through setting up and using your quick drop stabilizers from Lippert. A couple of things to keep in mind prior to using your stabilizers. Quick drop stabilizers are intended for the purpose of stabilizing the trailer after the trailer has already been properly leveled. Never lift the trailer completely off the ground. Lifting it completely off the ground creates an unstable condition that could result in property damage and personal injury. Make sure that the trailer is on solid, level ground. Clear all stabilizer leg landing locations of debris and obstructions. Locations should also be free of depressions. If you're parking your trailer on an extremely soft surface, utilize load distribution pads under each stabilizer leg. As you are retracting the drop leg, you will see the motion increase in speed the closer the leg gets to the fully stowed position. Make sure hands and body parts are fully clear of the closing swing path and people and pets should be clear of the trailer while operating the stabilizers. Now, proper leg placement is critical. The leg must be extended safely, but also extended enough so the weight of the trailer is evenly distributed by the quick drop stabilizer. This visual gauge rests at the end of the outer arm where it meets the foot pad and the quick drop leg. It's positioned away from the outer arm so you can see that the quick drop is angled out enough to properly stabilize the trailer as the quick drop stabilizer is extending, be mindful of the visual gauge as the outer arm drops and the inner arm moves down the assembly body. They will both need to be open enough for the inner arm and the quick drop leg to move past the visual gauge. Here are a few examples of quick drop stabilizer placement using the visual gauge. Here, the inner arm and the quick drop leg do not clear the visual gauge. The angle of the inner arm and the assembly body is too wide to assure weight can be safely distributed, making this a very bad situation. This one is a little better, but still not ideal. The inner arm and the quick drop leg clear the visual gauge, but the angle of the inner leg and the assembly body is wider than desired. The best placement is having the inner arm and the quick drop leg clear the visual gauge, and the inner leg and assembly body are approximately at a 90 degree angle. This setup gives you the best trailer stabilization. Now that you know the proper placement of your quick drop stabilizers, let's extend them. First, disconnect the safety chain from the foot pad. Turn the hex coupler clockwise to lower the stabilizer arms. You may use a cordless or electric drill or screw gun with a 3 quarter inch socket. Do not use an impact tool. The outer arm will drop from the body first hinging downward from the back of the stabilizer assembly body. The inner arm will then fold outward, hinging out from the bottom of the outer arm. The top of the inner arm is moved outward via a worm screw within the stabilizer assembly body. Very important, the inner arm should never be moved beyond a 90 degree angle perpendicular to the assembly body. Doing so may cause damage to the assembly. This product performs best when under load at or near 90 degrees. If you find that you're nearing 90 degrees and you do not have enough load on the stabilizer, retract and drop the leg another notch or two. Not following these directions could result in the leg being locked in the deployed position, thus causing you to damage the leg or have to remove it altogether in order to leave your campsite. Carefully pull the spring latch to release the quick drop leg. Allow the quick drop leg inside the inner arm to drop the foot pad to the ground. Once the quick drop leg has dropped and the foot pad touches the ground, return the spring loaded latch back to the nearest hole on the quick drop leg. Repeat these steps for all of your stabilizer legs. To retract your stabilizers, turn the hex coupler counterclockwise to begin retracting the stabilizer. The quick drop stabilizer will retract in reverse order from how it extended. Now, loop the spring hook into one of the holes on the foot pad. Repeat this process for the other stabilizer legs. Also, make sure the stabilizer legs are fully retracted before moving the trailer. For any troubleshooting questions, contact Lippert Customer Care at 432 Lippert or support 
at support.lci1.com or email customer service at lci1.com. Thanks for watching.